Nurses hit the street today in downtown Minneapolis. This was the scene as they picketed outside Hennepin Healthcare. It wasn't officially a strike here, but there could be a historic one at other hospitals soon. More than 15,000 nurses from across the state say that they'll walk if their hospitals do not make a deal with the union. Our Paul Bloom is live in downtown Minneapolis tonight with more detail on this. Paul? Kelsey, Randy, good evening to both of you. It is important to note here we are talking about two different pools of nurses. Those at public health care facilities like an HCMC are not allowed to strike by law. But there are 15,000 members of the Minnesota Nurses Association who have voted to authorize a strike. They're currently working without a contract. And if they don't get what they want, they say they're willing to walk. The short staffing has burnt everybody out. The workplace violence has burnt everybody out. For several hours on Monday, union nurses flocked here to the sidewalks outside HCMC for informational picketing. They're concerned about job exhaustion from understaffing coming out of the pandemic, as well as workplace safety conditions at the Frontline Public Hospital in downtown Minneapolis. This group not allowed to strike by law. Instead, they say they're hoping to get management to listen at a time when the union is negotiating a new wage package for its members. Our workplace violence is at an all-time high, and we're just demanding that the hospital provide enough safe staff so that we can safely care for our patients the way that we should be able to. Meantime, more than 15,000 union members with the Minnesota Nurses Association of private health care facilities, including Alina, M Health Fairview, and North Memorial, recently authorized a full-fledged strike across the state. They're working without a labor contract and are currently in negotiations with similar demands to those outside Hennepin Health. That is 15 hospitals that could see a potentially crippling walkout with just 10 days notice from union leadership. I spoke to Aaron Sojourner, a labor economist at the W.E. Upjohn Institute for Employment Research, about the impact it could have on the quality of patient care during a strike. Nurses do a very important skilled work in complex environment and you know you can't just swap in people uh, to do that work just as easily and just as well and that economist pointed to some research years ago out of new york that studied nursing strikes there and found that patient outcomes were detrimentally harmed when nurses walk out obviously everyone here hoping that just this threat of a strike could get both sides to the table and reach agreement to avoid any strikes across the state. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right.